Hello everyone, welcome to this comprehensive tutorial on how to use Template Toaster. In this video, we'll guide you step by step through designing a clean and professional template or website using Template Toaster. Whether you're creating a theme for a content management system like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Blogger, Magento, PrestaShop, or a static HTML5 website, Template Toaster has got you covered. Let's get started by designing a WordPress theme from scratch. First, you need to download Template Toaster from the link in the description. After that, when you first open Template Toaster, you'll be presented with two options. Start from scratch or modify a pre-designed template. For this tutorial, we'll start from scratch to give you a complete understanding of the design process. Click on the Start from Scratch option. You'll then see an option to set the color and typography for your theme. For this tutorial, we will stick to the default color and typography. This is the main user interface of Template Toaster. The first tab you see is the General tab. This tab includes various options such as pre-designed templates, color schemes, layout options, and the ability to add page templates. Let's explore these options one by one. The pre-designed templates option allows you to choose from a variety of ready-made templates. However, since we are starting from scratch, we won't use this option. Next is the color scheme option, which provides you with predefined color schemes to apply to your template. You can choose a color scheme that fits your brand or theme. The layout options allow you to switch between different layout types with a single click. You can also add different page templates and style them individually by using this Add Template button. Next, we move to the Body tab. The first option here is the background color. You can choose a solid color, gradient or image as the background for your body. You can also add textures and effects to enhance the look of your background. Additionally, you can set the background to be fixed or scrollable. This tab also includes an option to add a scroll to top button to your website, which enhances user experience. Now, let's go to the container tab. Here, you can set the background and layout of your pages. You can choose between fixed and fluid layouts and set the width and margins for your page. You can also style the borders, radius, colors, textures, effects, and shadows of your page. This customization allows you to create a unique look for each page of your website. The next tab is the header tab. The first option under this tab is the presets. You can choose from different designs to make your header look more attractive. You can further enhance the header with background options, texture effects, and shadows. You can also add a background image to your header and apply various effects to it. You can add a text area to your header by double-clicking on the designated box. You can edit the text by setting the appropriate font and size. Design your text area with background options, effects and borders. The header title option allows you to style your title with typography and heading types. Similarly, you can style your slogan with typography and heading types. You can also add a logo to your header by uploading an image from your computer. Moving on to the Slideshow tab, you can add or remove a slideshow from your template by simply checking or unchecking the option. You can add slides to your slideshow, move to the next or previous slides, and apply transition effects. You can enhance the look of your slideshow with bevel options, layout options, texture effects, and shadows. You can also add a background image to your slideshow and apply animation effects to it. Next is the Menu tab. The first option here is the Presets, which show you predefined designs for your menu. You can make your menu more attractive with background options, effects, and adding a logo. You can also add a background image and a text area to your menu. The menu buttons can be styled with height, margin, padding, and alignment options. You can choose to align your menu buttons to the left, center, or right, or justify them. The background, border, and typography options allow you to further style your menu buttons. For a more attractive design, you can use the submenu container options and submenu item options to style your submenu individually. The sidebar tab is next. The layout option allows you to set your sidebar position. You can choose to have a left sidebar, right sidebar, or no sidebar. The background, layout options, effects, and other styling options help you customize your sidebar to match your theme. 
The Widget tab includes options for preset designs for your widgets. You can style your widgets with container properties, header properties, and content properties. You can customize the look and feel of your widgets to ensure they blend seamlessly with your overall design. Next, let's explore the Sidebar Menu tab. The Presets option shows you predefined designs for your Sidebar Menu. You can style different parts of the Sidebar Menu, such as the Container, Header, Menu button, and Submenu, individually. This level of customization ensures your Sidebar Menu fits perfectly with the rest of your website. The Content tab is next. It allows you to customize your content on the website. You can add background colors, borders, margins, and padding to make your content look more appealing. Now, we move on to Widget Areas. The Widget Areas tab allows you to add and remove widget areas above or below your header, menu, content, and footer. You can style these areas with background, border, margin, padding, and other design options. The Elements tab includes options for buttons, text boxes, pagination, and breadcrumbs. You can style these elements with presets, backgrounds, borders, margins, padding, and other design options. Block quotes can also be customized with background, border, typography, margin, padding, and icon options. Finally, let's discuss the options for preview, export, and save. The preview option allows you to see your design in different web browsers. This is your live website view in a web browser. To export your WordPress theme, click on the export option and give your theme a name. I'm exporting my theme with the name Demo. Lastly, you need to save your design for future editing. Lastly, let's look at the pricing of Template Toaster. It offers two different plans. The first one is Standard Edition starting at $49 per month. This plan provides basic design features suitable for beginners. You can create simple websites and templates with essential customization options. It includes support for all major CMS platforms and HTML websites. The second one is Professional Edition starting at $99 per month. This plan is designed for advanced users and professionals. It includes all features from the Standard Edition plus advanced customization options, more design elements, and additional support for WooCommerce and Virtumart for e-commerce websites. It also offers premium support. You can download the free version of Template Toaster by using the link in the description. And that's it. Thank you for watching this Template Toaster tutorial. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Happy designing and I'll see you in the next video.